Well, if you really want to examine why the Pac-12 is enjoying a renaissance the last couple years, you have to look at the quarterback position. There is a glut of really experienced, proven quarterbacks and talented quarterbacks in this league right now, really from top to bottom. Uh, and they're all different styles. Kevin Hogan, a little more of a pro-style quarterback. Jared Goff's got the big arm at Cal. And then you've got guys like Anu Solomon, who is a dual-threat quarterback, can do both. Playing in the Pac-12 really, really exploits who's an athlete and who isn't. And I think it, it, it's, it's healthy for the conference. And I'm, I, just, I just feel like the Pac-12 is one of those toughest conferences in the nation. This is really a, a key thing for the Pac-12 now, as they challenge the SEC for conference supremacy uh, from top to bottom. These teams are getting excellent quarterback play, and with a lot of the development on the West Coast, the rise of quarterback gurus out here, uh, that's only going to continue. Would you ever get on a 405? Hell, I mean, I don't have to deal with it every day, but man, there's, I mean, there's just a lot of folks. I remember when I lived in West Virginia, and you'd fly over the state, you'd see more deer stands than you would homes. You know, you fly over LA and just over the 405 or the 101, and the amount of people that live here is enormous. So somewhere, every time I fly over and look at it, I said, you know, there's got to be a quarterback somewhere amongst these many thousands of cars and houses.